Hi, welcome to my guide for the Corrupted Gauntlet. I uploaded a guide for the regular Gauntlet and now it's time to upload a guide for the Corrupted one. So, we start, we go to the adjacent room around the Gauntlet, or ga Hanlev, Gunlev, Hanlev. What we want to do, if we see mobs, we kill them, three of them. I will see a high Twitch, high YouTube. Mom, I'm on the internet. <laughs> we, we want to kill them, collect the shards, and we need a weapon frame. 100% we need one weapon frame. If you have enough shards, make 30 corrupted dust, drop pestle and mortar. If you see fishing spots, make sure to grab all the fishes you can. Until your inventory is like, let's say half full because we're going to need three of each resources for the armor. Time generally is not a problem unless you're a little unlucky. So, first resource. After you gathered the resources, let's say the ore in this case, drop the tool for it. So we drop the pickaxe to have another inventory slot. Grab all the herbs, herbs. Grab all the herbs you can find on the way. We need three in total. Nice, we have some cotton. Now we just need some trees. Also, I assume you have some KC in regular gauntlets, so I won't talk you through the basics. Okay, so that's three. I need to drop three fishies. That's fine. Let's grab the bark. Streamer luck. Haha, <laughs> let's go. So, got the bark. We drop it. Uh, we drop the axe. Then we go ahead, craft the bow. Three armor pieces. Three vials. Then we cook the fishies. After the fishies are cooked, drop all of them. Fill up your vials with water. Mix the potions. Beautiful. Then we go to the opposite rooms of the boss. We go to the most outer circles or most outer areas to find the demi bosses. Fishies are good too. We still need a few more fishes, so if you cross some fishing spots, make sure to grab the fishies as well. Basically, you want to fill your entire inventory, except the weapon frame and the special material to craft the perfected weapons. Fishies. Alright, now time to find the Demi bosses. Fishies, thank you, 21. If there were any. But yeah, you see what I'm doing? I just go around the most outer circle to find the Demi bosses. And I have absolute zero RNG. I was lucky at the beginning, now I'm unlucky. There we go, dragon. <clears throat> Number one. What is important, you just go for two demi bosses and you make whatever weapon they drop or whatever upgrade material they drop. So we have a dragon. Me that means we're going to make a staff. If next room is a bear or next demi boss is a bear, we're going to make the halberd. So it really, really depends on which demi bosses you find first. So I, I made a bow, just so I can kill them. If there's a bear, I'm going to drop the bow. So let's see what second upgrade material we get. We still have enough time, which is good. Unless there are no demi-bosses around. 
There we go. Okay, it's... Okay, nice. It's the Dark Beast. So we don't have to drop the bow. We're going to make the perfected bow and the perfected crystal staff. So, range and mage. Two minutes 30 left. Very nice. So let's say this was a bear. As I said. Go back to the base after killing the bear. After getting all the loot. Drop the bow. Make a halberd and the staff and set. I mean... Just make sure you check which upgrade materials you get. In this case, Corrupted Orb and uh, Bowstring that the Dark Beast drops. <clears throat> Alright, now time for the boss prep already. Make sure to get the weapon frame if you don't have the proper weapon type because you need two weapon frames. So. We got everything, we go back, we can drop the Corrupted Scepter, we can drop the Harpoon, we can... Yeah, we can then go ahead, make Perfected Bow and the Perfected Staff, in my case. After that, you can drop all your Crystal Shards, you don't need them anymore. Then, we cook the fishies we got. Pretty good amount of fishies, exactly. And then we grab all the fishies on the floor that we dropped at the beginning. Very good. Sort the inventory and that's it. That's a prep for the boss. And now we go ahead and fight the boss. What's different? Uh, this boss fight is basically like the regular gauntlet, just a little more stressful. The floor is lava tiles are spawning faster the boss hits harder obviously and the boss spawns the tornadoes more frequently and the boss has two faces if i'm not mistaken 666 hp and 333 hp Uh, why did that hit so hard? At 333 HP, the boss starts to spam the tornadoes, kind of. You can see I marked some tiles. These are some... They're not real safe spots, but it, it helps you to navigate a little. So if you want, you can mark the tiles as well. You will see in the last phase what I mean. So make sure to switch your prayers, make sure to use the right weapons. Stay calm, that's important. His max hit with tier 1 armor is 13. If you are praying the against the correct attack type. So make sure you stay above 13 HP if you want to go for maximum DPS output. Okay, one more hit and then he enters his last phase. You will notice the floor's lava tiles are going to switch a lot faster now. It sometimes can be a little overwhelming, especially with the tornadoes. So it really takes some practice. Don't worry if you fail. I mean, I still fail up to this point as well, so no shame in that. Oh yeah, always try to avoid running under the Hun left. He can hit really, really hard if you run beneath him. Oh, 
Whew. Yeah, I think you see what I mean. Come on, hit, hit, hit. I almost got it. Yeah, one more hit. If I hit. Okay, now <laughs> I showed off. <clears throat> I wanted to show you how hard he can hit if you run under him. I need one more hit, please. Hello, one more hit. Oh my god, I'm not hitting. I might actually lose. I'm dead. Yeah, but I think you get the idea of how to fight this boss. That's basically it. I guess you need a little more RNG than me. I hope I could help. Thank you for watching. I also have a gauntlet guide and a guardians of the rift guide if you're interested. Also, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash pedo, P-A-A-D-O. As Lara Ellis already mentioned in the chat. Thank you and bye.